Welcome to Wall Street Confidential, the show we give you the inside story as to what's really happening on Wall Street. I'm Greg Greenberg. Joining me today is the research manager here at thestreet.com is Dave Peltier. Welcome, Dave. Thanks for having me. All right, Dave. Getting a lot of dividend increases recently, and you run the dividend portfolio here at the street. Um, stocks have been moving up, and I guess dividends have been moving up as well. It's very true. Uh, it's something you definitely see during earnings season. People also boost their dividends a lot at the same time. Doesn't seem about getting the cap X though. It seems like if, if the people are going to be spending money in corporations, CFOs, they're going to be buying back stock, paying out dividends. Well, where's the cap X? Well, I think you'll see that, especially with Exxon Mobil. I think the company uh, bought back about three times more worth of stock than they actually spent bringing oil out of the ground. It's kind of crazy when you think yeah, about shouldn't it. They? Well, you, since you're talking about oil, let's talk about Chevron, which is in your dividend portfolio. They reported 18% uh, growth in profits. Um, they've been raising uh, dividends about 20 straight years, raised the payout as well. You still like it? I do. Um, honestly, I think the stock's getting a little pricey right now. Uh, it's trading at all-time highs, but they did just raise the dividend. The yield's back up to 3%, which makes me want to hold on to it. I'm not going to be buying it here, but hold on to it, collect the dividend, maybe the stock goes to 82. All right. Also in your dividend portfolio is the Barnes Group, uh, and they actually report May 9th. It seems like they're benefiting from all these great industrial companies booming because they supply, like, um, they're like, I guess, like Granger. So they, they supply a lot of the, the Eatons and the aerospace and the Boeings, et cetera. Um, what's your stance on them? Uh, again, a, a really good company. It's kind of under the radar. It only trades at 13, 14 times earnings, which is a discount to the S&P 500. They have a pretty spread out customer base. GE is also a major customer. And uh, about a third of the revenue comes from overseas, so it's a big, weak dollar play. And that's another thing we've been seeing during earnings season is that you get those that currency in your favor, and it's really helping out the international companies while the U.S. is slowing, as we saw from today's GDP report. That's very true. All right. Another thing in your dividend portfolio, which has raised uh, dividends this week, is Integris Energy. Now, that's a Chicago-based utility, which is a merger of two different companies earlier, correct? Right. It's uh, Peoples and WPS, I believe. Uh, Wisconsin, Chicago, they've got that whole upper northwest area. All right. The whole second city covered. Right. Um, now, they increased their dividend, but Utes have been really running. And I guess you have to raise the dividends to keep up with it, right? Well, again, uh, you know, the reason why I like this company, it's a, they have a strong balance sheet. The 4.6% dividend yield is one of the higher ones in the, in the business right now. And they're growing earnings at 15%, just unheard of in this space. But can the utilities keep it up? I mean, they used to be widows and orphan stocks, and now they're growth stocks, just like a lot of those in the industrial cyclicals. Um, sooner or later, is it going to have to run out, and when? When you buy the utilities, you need to have the mindset that you're going to make 5 to 10% on these guys uh, with limited downside potential. Uh, and if you go into it with that mentality, then I think it's still going to continue to work. So you're not doing it for the capital appreciation? You can't buy this and try to beat the S&P 500 with these stocks. Doing it for the coupon. That's why he's a dividend portfolio guy. Dave Peltier, he's the research manager at thestreet.com. I'm Greg Greenberg. Thanks for watching Wall Street Confidential.